the sheriff's office. Sorry about that cut in the middle of cin Hello? cinematic. Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Oh. Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page. The junker? After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wade, can I help you with Don't anything? Do stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one the of cell? our regulars. I thought he quit hey. drinking for good. Hey. Let's listen. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Huh. All right, holding cells. Hey, you! Can you help me? Can you turn the lights on? Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. <laughs> you're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. I won't. You know I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See. Sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. <laughs> I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. Oh. You wanna know who it really was? i tell you who it really was. Who? It was a goddamn space alien! <laughs> I know what? that sounds like something that a drunk would say, but what? believe me, I wasn't drunk then. The aliens. Okay. Well then. Thank you, my friend, for that. I will keep the lights on. What's in here? In a dark presence. Mask. To describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. True. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Okay. Where's that? I don't want to go there. Because... Cause I'm the writer. You okay, dude? Alright. Parking lot. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. The fence on the left? There's a radio. Let's listen to this real quick. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. Uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Wow. Was Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting, the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave <laughs> the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. Cool. Alright. Well, we have to go to the fence, I think it said. But I want to look around every... Wait, what? Oh. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Oh, dear. Okay. One second. What is all this over here? Nothing? Nothing here? At all? Can I get in that window? Alright. Let's go, uh... Inside the fence, I guess? Kick it. We made it. Alright, Alice's well. driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. 
I'm gonna pick up this page first. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Okay. All right, let's go get her ID on the uh, driver's thing. <laughs> Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. What? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I okay. needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Uh, all right. Can I just jump this? Cool. Can I just go in these doors, or do I have to go all the way back around? I bet I do. All right. Well, is this my car? I doubt it. All right. Back in. A writer what the? is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. What? Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. What happened to this guy, though? Is he just drunk now? What's up, dude? Alright, let's go. Should I freak him out and turn lights off? I won't be mean. Let's turn it back on. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Oh. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That's Elderwood. Perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My what? clinic is a place where... Oh! oh. Take it easy. Wow. Wow. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his <laughs> agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Uh, okay. Well, that's our agent, I guess, for our books. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled <laughs> money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. He's like, new book? I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. Oh, I like your car. To rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. 
Mr. Wake. It's a waitress. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh wow, I was just thinking about you too. Great. Fangirl. I'm bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. <laughs> Barry. Who's Max? Yeah, who is Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she really? was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? <laughs> no! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do and everything's just... you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? <laughs> Don't be wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Okay. Wait here. I'm gonna go over here and look around. Just wait there, Barry. Oh, this is cool. It really feels like you're here. Wait, what is that? Bucktooth Charlie, Colombian Mammoth. Whoa. Skeleton of a Colombian Mammoth. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 81. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Colombian Mammoth became Washington's state fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really neat. What is all this? Okay, definitely dinosaurs. Dude, this is neat as shit. I really like this. Elderwood. It's a cool picture. What is all this? Okay. We should get a hat. And go behind the desk. What's back here? Damn, nothing. Can I have some water? Can I go in your... No. Alright. Well, let's go. Look how big this guy is. That would suck to meet on like a wooded trail, you know? Alright, somebody's out there. We know somebody's chilling, and that must be Max. From what we heard from the waitress. What is all this shit back here? Health? Oh, it's a first aid. Okay, well, I guess we just go out. Let's go out. Not that way. Cool. Nothing over here. Wow. Look at this. Damn. It sounds awesome. All the birds and nature and stuff. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, Bucktooth sure. Charlie. What happened? I'll be right back. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. <laughs> but that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. Poor guy. He got lucky. All right, let's go get that Max is something. Doggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone Here's just yet. Al, you okay. Can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Shit. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No, this whole thing. It, listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. <laughs> you gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can <laughs> quit it now. You can stop. Alright, alright, alright. Thanks, Barry. I appreciate it. But I have to do something for this dog. And I guess a veterinarian? Maybe? Hand over the form. Here you go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, oh, you're all set, what? Mr. Wake. Glad to have you stay in here. What? Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. 
Nice mm. spot too. <laughs> Mine. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. <laughs> radio oh, mast. Hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your step so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. All right. So it's up there. The radio. We have to head in that direction. Get the keys and go to the car. Oh, we're getting back in the car. Wait, let me look around. Can I go down there? What's down there? Where can I go? Man. I wonder where we are. Are we in, like, West Virginia? Where are we? You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went, poof, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yeah. You hear that from people who end up spending <laughs> time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long uh, tangled up sleeves, and oh eating God. a healthy diet of pills. Uh, that's Al, funny. you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? <laughs> if there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! Oh, man. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. <laughs> Best what would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Come with Either me. Work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Since I have the key, no, I guess none of this shit opens. All right, well, let's go. Where are we going now? Just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. What, what is happening? This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> oh. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. <laughs> Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Oh boy. Achoo! Poor Barry. Poor Barry. Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> Bless you. Have you seen anything? trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy. God knows what. <laughs> So not worth a fifteen percent commission. <laughs> it's really funny. See, this flashlight's awesome. I love having this. Oh, the fireplace is really nice. Where are we? Actually, turn the lights on right now. Wait. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. I like the fire. I like the fish. The deer head's kind of creepy. It's a little much. I don't even need the fish. I don't eat fish, so yeah, that's fine. Light switch. Is that on or off? What is that? Oh, God. Alright, let's go this way. More batteries. Thank you. I wonder if there's a way to upgrade the batteries to, like, they use less energy. Or maybe we get a stronger battery. This place is creepy as shit. It really is. Can I go out that way? No. Alright, well. Oh, I don't want to go outside, but. Oh, shit. We're outside, guys. Wow, we are way up here, too. Where's a radio station? <laughs> Didn't it say something about a radio station? There's nothing out here? I totally thought there'd be something right here. I'm not... Wait, do I have to go by myself? 
I'm just exploring real quick. Uh, Alright, that's how you do Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. The dodging I've been messing up lately. So, I can't find anything out here. This is crazy. How's that even possible? It's a hot tub. An empty hot tub. How sad is that? That's just... Okay, I'm nervous. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Let's go this way, I guess. Okay, he's leaving. He's locking the door. We're down by the car. Manuscript. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. Oh. It scared the shit out of Barry. This is what Barry is thinking, his agent. Okay. Is there anything in here? Nothing? Come on. Oh, wait. Wait, what happens if I get in the car? <laughs> Can I run? Do I want to run? I, I guess I can. I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. <laughs> These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the business center, And it wouldn't be any use to me in the Fuck. forest. We don't get to drive, guys. So... I guess... Let's make our way down this. In the dark. back here oh hey oh shit is there a light switch please uh. <laughs> revolver ammo good more bullets are always a thing all right let's listen to this radio Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deerfest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Bat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party contest judges, too. Uh. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. We saw that. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Huh. <laughs> Considering your track well record, said. the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay. Visitor center that way. Oh, I don't like it down here. Yeah, no, no, no. Whoa. Stop it. That sucks. 
cool. Huh. What's this for? I like this. <sighs> the fuck was that? Time to run. happening. Can I get in there and turn some lights on somehow? Ah! <sighs> Fuck no. Light switch. Well, of course it doesn't work. Of course. Nothing? Come on, man. Whoa. Is that blood? Oh shit, that is blood. Impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Uh. Tonight's episode The Man in the Mirror. The fuck is that thing? Right, let's watch a show. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? <laughs> now, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. Whoa. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Uh, Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? Wow. <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. Any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. But uh, what? That's crazy. I like these little episodes, man. <laughs> They're really neat. What is this thing? It's a moose, I think. It just looks really odd. Alright. Well. Onward. What's that noise? Birds? I hate birds. Release phone. Hey, what's up there? Check this out. This is neat. Let's listen to Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance. And life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. 
What? Dude, we're way up here. Okay. Let's go uh, back down, I guess. Yeah, let's go. I don't think there's any. What's that? Drop. Okay. Don't jump off, it says. Whoa. Let's get to that uh, street. Let's get to that car, actually. Check it out. I'm in the bushes. I'm in the bushes. Let's read this one. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his Ooh. cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Are we talking about the dog and the veterinarian? Is this, is this going to happen? Because I'm not okay with that. What's happening? And left me weak. This was no head injury. No! No! Uh. Rusty, hang on. Oh, They're coming. Please help me. Where are you? Anybody? Help me. Help Where do we go? Coming, dude. Help me. Hello? Back there. I'm back here. Hey. Holy shit. What happened? Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office, I have the key. Hmm. Okay, Rusty, hang on. I'll be right back. The lights in the office. What do you think? Did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. All right. Well, let's the try to go. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Another page. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. <sighs> Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. Damn. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Jeez, dude. Okay, let's go in here. Unlock it. Go in. What was that? Is that a page? It is. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. Oh no. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. What's this? Batteries. Ammo. Okay. Oh. It was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no That's way right. to get the lights back on. So should we get back to him? Oh god. Rusty! Rusty! Liquid darkness. Senses. 
Uh oh. Jesus, this sucks. Die. Got him. This way. <clears throat> what are we doing? Is that a page? No. What's this place? I'm going in. This way? Hmm. How do I get over there? I wonder. Through this place? Let's go back through here, I guess. There's gotta be somewhere else we have to kill, probably. Alright, we're going back in. What's going on here? Is there like a back way I can get out? Oh, what's this? Please, yes. Any ammo? Or lights. Alright, well, let's go this way now. Nothing to pick up. Oh, okay, I got it. Check it out. How was that? What was that noise? I made it. We're in the light. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. For 
Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy. <laughs> you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Alright, let's read this one. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rusty Rose was, was strong. Out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh. All right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to take a breather. We've been in for a while. This has been Alan Wake. I love the story, the shadows, the flashlight, the gun. Uh, I know we had a flare gun at one point. I would love to get another flare gun. That was super fun. But uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Mixer Epic Tommy 1. Everything goes to YouTube. Green Earth Games. Till next time, y'all. Bye.